hey y'all welcome back to my channel once again um so today we're gonna be talking about which you probably already know from the title of this video we're gonna be talking about the k ollie fragrance um this fragrance is the eden juicy apple 01 and this is a hundred milliliters and it is 3.4 fluid ounces so this is how it comes packaged um it does have all of the notes on the back um which are juicy apple wild berries jasmine lychee vanilla flower and sensual musk so here it is in all of its glory have i been wearing this yes i have um as you can see it's been getting a little a little spray action um i actually really 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 love this fragrance um i watched a lot of reviews on it before i purchased it but let me tell y'all don't always go with the reviews because some of the reviews could have really discouraged me from purchasing this and i'm gonna tell you why because when i smell this i definitely pick up i pick up on the red berries the apple and in the back of it i pick up on the sensual musk which is creating more of like a sexy favorite fragrance because clearly that was somewhere in this but this is part of the fruity florals family so it's the fragrance family of florals and the scent type is fruity i absolutely love this so um of course it's in the signature kaoli bottle um i'm not sure if you guys knew this or not but when you purchase some kaoli each one of these has a number behind it and that number is how many times it took for them to perfect this scent and get it right so since this one has one that means they got it right on the first try and let me tell you i really enjoy this fragrance um a lot of the reviews were almost deterred me from purchasing it because they were saying that uh it reminds them of country apple by bath and body works but let's talk about it for me when i smell like country apple and things like that like they have like a very childlike scent and they smell more like a juicy red apple and kind of like a green apple like a mix like it doesn't have that sensualness that this has in the back like this is very light but it's very sweet and it's very juicy hence the name um so this one it says mona's love for Eden started from day one, obviously, and the symbolic apple was a key part of the inspiration and a desirable perfume note that reveals fun, tempting, flirtatious side of the juice. It brings instant pleasure and happiness from the very first spritz. Eating is a very special juice, very different from anything that we've done before in the collection. It is vibrant, fruity floral, and hero note is the juicy red apple which as soon as you smell the juice, you're going to instantly feel the effects of the delicious fragrance ingredients. Um, so as you can see, it's supposed to be very playful. It's supposed to be very light. It's supposed to be a very cute scent and then have that sensualness at the back. So like, this is something you could wear like a lunch date. Like it's a daytime, to me, it's like a juicy daytime cute fragrance. You know, you're out shopping, blah, blah, blah. Things like that. Like i like red berries as well like red berries is my note which y'all should know that from my other video about the ysl mom pears like it has red berries in it too so i i just remember loving that fragrance um you know these are online only so it's not like i could just walk in and purchase well smell it so when i did do a pickup order i did it as a pickup order from sephora because my local sephora ended up getting a couple of them in um they still didn't have one out to sample so it's not like i still got to smell it so yeah but i really love the red berries it was in the ysl mon paris and since i really love those i felt like that i would absolutely love this k ollie um fragrance and it says here it's supposed to also bring together um apologetic happiness um the dry notes are flower amber crystals sugar moss and sensual musk um it didn't say nothing about no moss on the back of here but um uh, apparently it is in there and it is uh 
it's beautiful. It also says it has black currant, currant, I'm not sure how to say that, pink grapefruit, and of course lychee, which lychee and apple and the berries are all listed on the box. Also says that they have raspberry blossom, jasmine, and rose centerfoil. So that rose, I didn't really pick up on, but the raspberry, now that I'm reading the notes, the apple, the raspberries, the grapefruit, the wild berries, like I pick up on all those fruits and then I pick up on that sensual musk at the back to add like a very, it adds a level to it that I feel like Cut Your Apple by Bath & Body Works doesn't offer, even though everybody else said it did. Mm. I personally disagree. Like this does not smell like any apple fragrance that I have ever smelled before in my life. Like most of the time I don't like apple things because I'm just like, I don't want to smell like apple. I don't want to smell like apple at all. But uh, this is absolutely beautiful. And I definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, recommend trying this. A lot of people say these scents don't last. Um, by Kay Ollie, I've saw those reviews as well. But for me, it lasts with me throughout the day. So I would say it's something you need to try because y'all be forgetting, like, Y'all really be out here forgetting. Everything is not going to work for everybody's body chemistry. So, could it smell like country apple on someone else? I guess. But, did it smell like that on me? Not at all. Um. So, this one that I have retails for $138. Um, the 1.7 is 85, and then of course they have the little mini. Um, that one retails for 25. And ooh, so I was looking for some of the other scents because I want to try this sweet pink pepper one. Anyway, it sold out at Sephora, but I did go on their site. First of all, their site has afterpay, just so y'all know. And two, they have a set. It's like a sample set. So all of the minis they offer them in a um in like a little package deal where you can try to, you know, try all of them and smell them and see how you feel. And also, the the Juicy Apple isn't included in that, though, because it's one of the newer scents. So it would be like the vanilla, the musk, the citrus, the elixir, those those ones. But um, I really like this scent. Um, it has definitely encouraged me to explore K. Ali more. And then I really love the packaging. Like, I feel like they really thought this through because, you know, most most of them don't have like fancy tops like i guess this is supposed to implement like implement a little more luxury to the item but uh i love it i love their packaging i'm hoping to see more from k ollie hopefully some more scents that are you know sweeter and the red berries the warm florals like it's nothing like anything they've ever um done before and then i'm also excited to see like maybe since this one has vanilla flower like i wonder what this would be like a uh, layer with their plain vanilla so i'm very intrigued by kayali uh i'm very excited and i'm very happy that i made the decision to add something by them to my collection because i actually don't typically shop anything by huda like i don't have any of her makeup um anything like that so i would definitely say put this on your list as things to explore things to give a chance to um i would say if you feel like so here's the thing when you're shopping for perfume if you buy something you feel like it's light and it's airy and it doesn't stick with you out the day think about what notes it has read the notes and then layer with another note that you really like in it to try and bring that pop and get that item to stand out that would be my best recommendation as far as uh what to buy how to shop how to wear these fragrances like i told y'all in my other video there is a science behind wearing perfumes if you're the type of person who just walks up smells it and you're like eh, i don't like it eh, it doesn't stick with me you may not ever find 
your actual fit. You have to be willing to layer. You have to know notes. You have to kind of explore. You have to make a decision. Like, you can't just say, hey, well, I don't like the way that smells. I'm not going to try it on. Like, sometimes you can. Sometimes you can't. Because it may mix with your chemistry and it may smell totally different. Which is why, you know, you should be spraying it here, 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 and here. And never rub. So there is a science, there's a method to the madness, and I definitely recommend exploring your options and trying. Um, if you guys have any K Ollie fragrances that y'all truly enjoy or you feel like I should purchase next, um, let me know down in the comments below. And of course, I will link this from I'll probably link it from the K Ollie site if it's in stock. It's completely sold out on Sephora. So um, you know. Might not be anything to link it to, but thank you guys for watching my video and I will see y'all in my next video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye y'all.